So as we know, we're talking a lot about the way the media is playing games. And I get it. In politics, reality is when you start whinging about the media, you're starting to lose the politics, right? But I just had had enough and it was time to start pushing back. I will do so gladly. You should see my phone right now. I think some people are about to call me a former friend. Sorry, my loyalty is to you to tell you the truth each and every night. We'll patch it up to everyone else. Sophie Ellsworth, friends everywhere in the media, writing about media in the Australian newspaper. Peter Gleeson kicking ass for us in Queensland. Mr Queensland, what a thrill to be with you on the GC last week, mate. And, of course, James Morrow. One of the outsiders and the national political editor of the Daily Telegraph. One and all, hello. Great so, to be here, Paul. Let's start with you first, Glee. So, so the Labor Party has used the Solomon Islands to find it as a backdoor way to give the ABC more money. Yeah, not unsurprising, is it? I mean, any excuse to give the ABC more money. And, of course, the ABC is the reason that Sky News is enjoying such spectacular ratings at the moment because the people in the bush and people in regional cities are fed up with the ABC and they want real news. The problem with the ABC right now is they don't even pretend anymore, Paul. They don't even pretend uh, with their bias. And they're part of this incredible cabal with the Labor Party, the Greens, Get Up, uh, the Teal Independents and, of course, the ABC. It's, it's outrageous. And, unfortunately, when Ida Buttrose was appointed chairman, I actually thought she might rein them in. She's been a gross disappointment. We need Andrew Bolt in there to clean this mob up. <laughs> James, I mean, look, we know the game here, Deb, by talking about this, we become the thing next Monday. I don't care. I don't care. The idea that this is the way to solve a sovereign nation which can make its own mistakes, but we all know what's happened here. People have been bought off. Well, look, it's beyond this whole ABC issue, too. It's about this whole thing where politics are being played with this deadly serious game of Ch China right now. Um, and, you know, this morning I had to laugh uh, at some of the policies that they were coming out and saying, this is going to be the thing that's going to get us, you know, over the line, that Labor is going to say, oh, well, this is how everything's going to be different under us. This is, they are running the microwave campaign because everything is reheated. So there is this boosting uh, security in the Pacific program that they're doing. It is funded at $12 million a year to June 30th, 2023. All they did was say, we'd run that out for another four years at the same funding. So Correct. there's actually very little new here. This was headline news. This was today. headline news, but people need to look more deeply at what actually they're saying. And so much of what we're seeing out of this campaign is stuff that has been tried in 2019, well, didn't work, and also isn't going to work in the new security environment that we're in now. 